Welcome to Shaken Not Deter, the podcast. I'm your host, Miriam Gilmore, and I'm really excited to have you guys here with me today. Uh, in today's episode, I'll talk to you a little bit about uh, why it is that I'm podcasting and how I got back into real estate and mortgage uh, when initially I really just thought I wanted to create an entirely different business based on my past experiences. So let's just jump right in and I hope you enjoy it. You know that for years, I really thought that I never wanted to own a business again, especially not in the same industry that I've been in, which is real estate and mortgage uh, forever. I, I really believe that I did not want to get back into this business. I got burned with the um, mortgage crisis from 2007, 8, 9. <laughs> that period was emotionally draining for me. However, when I was trying to reinvent myself and figure out what I wanted to do, because I didn't want to get back into the business, I kept going back to my experiences, which led me back to my business, to mortgage and real estate and this world that I've been in my whole life. And I finally decided to start the mortgage company and I've done that, but I wanted to see how I could tie my past experiences and my struggles, my victories or triumphs or whatever you want to call it into this business now. So I wanted it to be about a little bit more than just, you know, having a mortgage business. And of course, I love to help my clients. And and I meet so many of my clients who are also entrepreneurs and business owners. uh, And it's always interesting for me. But there's also another part of me who wants to help people who are looking to venture into entrepreneurship and start a business. Because that's what I've always done. And I've it it actually, you know, it's the thing that fires me up. And I love to talk about businesses and I love to talk about creativity and how to create um, relationships with potential customers and the whole marketing part of that. Um, It's just something that I've always liked. I've always liked connecting with people. But it's funny because I was so bent on starting a new company or a new business that had nothing to do with what I had done my entire life. And I really struggled with it. It wasn't easy. I mean, I didn't really start a completely different thing. I actually wanted to do something that had to do with divorce and with starting over. But then it always, I always came back to business and starting over. And and whether it was a business about divorce or whatever, it was still a business. Um, But then I didn't only want to be known for divorce. And I didn't only want to talk about divorce because that was a part of my life. And it was a big part and something that still revisits me still today, but I didn't only want to discuss that. Um, you know, so then it takes me back to, well, I'm an entrepreneur and the thing that I really enjoy talking about is business. And I think that a lot of people struggle with what they enjoy or what's their hobby or what's their something that, you know, they're good at, but you want to convert that into a business. And that's not always easy. And it's not even always possible. You know, I wanted to let you know, honestly, how that was really difficult for me. And I honestly didn't even go there. I I stopped it and I said, well, let me focus on something that I know. Because obviously, besides all of these things, hello, people, I need to make money. I need to pay my bills (laughs) like we all do. So I didn't know if that venture would take me to a place where I could actually make the kind of money that I need to live the type of life that I want to live. So I went back to something I know and then, but which is mortgage and real estate. But then at this juncture, at this stage, I'm trying to see how it is that I can, I guess, wrap around the business that I have, the other things that I enjoy, entrepreneurship, experience, and even, believe it or not, divorce. I know that divorce has nothing to do with a mortgage or entrepreneurship, but it does. There's people who are getting a mortgage who've been divorced. There's people who are starting a business who are going through a divorce or had a divorce. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be that topic, but I'm just using that as an example that I can pull from that. It doesn't have to be my entire business is based on divorce, but I can sprinkle that into my conversations and into pieces of my content because it's part of who I am and it's part of what got me to where I am today. So I'm learning that and I'm still going through it. It's not like I figured everything out, but I'm trying to put all the pieces together and that's part of my puzzle. And perhaps if you're starting a business or you're in an existing business that 
you're good at, you like it, but there's this other creative part of you that you want to do something different. Perhaps there's a way that you can look at that thing that you love. And it might be, I don't know, it could be anything, sailing, travel, and you can kind of somehow weave that into the business that you're currently in because your clients are multifaceted as you are. Your clients aren't only going to talk to you about that one thing they're doing with you. This might be that one thing that can help you connect with them on a different level. And then they'll want to do business with you. So if you're a real estate agent or you're an insurance person or something of that nature and you love travel, let's use travel as an example. And you talk about trips and you talk about different things about travel and they love that too. They're going to connect with you. They're going to feel a connection. And that's the most important thing when you're looking for new ways to market to clients. It's the connection. That's what it's all about right now um, with this whole social media movement and platforms and so forth. It's about connecting with people. So the way we get business is different than how it used to be 10, 15 years ago. It's people want to do business with people they connect with and have something in common with. Uh, not just somebody who sells something for a great price. So part of that is why I have this podcast, because it was a way for me to link my entrepreneurship experience, my life experience, and my business together, because it really goes hand in hand. It's also a way to connect with people in a different format, in a different way, where I can share stories, examples of things that have helped me, uh, examples of things that have harmed my business, or even me personally, uh, as a mother, as a wife, when I was a wife, um, you know, in this world, <laughs> after divorce, dating, meeting people, and how all those things really seriously affect your business, entrepreneurship. Um, so it's just one whole conglomerate of life in general. But I am very thankful that you are uh, here with me today. And if you enjoyed this podcast, I hope that you'll share it with your friends, share it on your social media. Um, the more the merrier. And if we can grow a bigger, better community, that's even better. And that's what I would love. So thank you once again for listening in. And I hope to see you here again real soon.